Hey guys, welcome back to Obsession Car Detailing. This is episode 13 of our vlog. And uh, we're filming on a Friday afternoon, which is quite unusual. We usually do midweeks, but just the way it's been, um, uh, it's panned out this week. And Kumi is back. Uh, I think he's enjoying being a, being a dad. Kumi, how old is your baby now? Four weeks. Four weeks, oh, so yeah, great, excellent. So everyone, round of applause and congrats to Kumi. Um, you know, his baby is uh, really, uh, really cute and um, all that. Anyway, um, Toyota Clue, we got, we got quite eclect an eclectic mix of cars, I think that's the word, in, uh, in this week. First up, Toyota Kluger. Can you believe the wait list on these is like a year right now? Um, on these and RAV4s, I think it's even approaching two years. Um, I think they're a very popular car. This is the hype, sorry? Land Cruisers as well. Yeah, actually we had a bloke with a Land Cruiser swing by today and booked that in as well. But yeah, Toyota Kluger, uh, st standard, simple job on this one. Uh, Polish and G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra Paint Protection. This one is ready to go, feeling nice and smooth, much like a, um, a ceramic coated car would feel. Um, swing around, we've got this awesome Tesla Model 3. It is Tesla season. Um, oh, and Neil and Adele have just rocked up to pick their car up. And that wasn't rehearsed at all. That was completely natural. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's have a chat here. Um, yep. How did you guys find us? Uh, a number of the people we knew Got through the, the uh, Tesla Owners Club uh, brought their cars here to be wrapped. And uh, then we came and had a, a Model 3 um, boot camp. Uh, a bit of a talker event with some charging information. And you talked about... Uh, you talked about looking after the paint and, and protecting the cars and so on. And uh, then uh, through Facebook a lot, uh, obviously we've been keeping track. And, and um, yeah, when we picked up the new one to the, the little the little one to, to go with the Model S, we thought we better bring it in and get it done. And there was no other choice really for us to to make. Uh, and now, guys, I know that you know I was gracious enough to allow. Neil and Adele to jump the queue and we squeeze their cars in. If you're watching this, please don't get any ideas. Yeah. If you want to get your car done, please book it in and let us know ASAP. Don't, don't, please don't pick your car up and say, oh, hey, I need it wrapped tomorrow. You know, we, we have a habit here of biting off more than we can chew sometimes. And we have a, have a habit here of saying, of never saying no to people, but it's getting to the point now where we just can't keep up. Like this week's, no one slept. We've got, it's Friday afternoon and the shop is full of cars. Usually we don't film on Fridays because there are no cars in the shop on Friday, but here it's, there's six cars in here, which will go around. So guys, please book. Thanks to Neil and Adele for uh, being on our video and of course, bringing their cars to us. Um, yeah, I mean, um, we're, we'll be doing some work on their unplugged Model S soon as well. That needs a few touch-ups here and there. Um, and uh, check out Instagram and you can see that when, it, uh, when we do it. Now, turning around, one of my favorite cars, Hyundai i30N. Now, I have the sedan version of this. Well, it's not really the sedan version of this. It's actually an Elantra N, which is a completely different car. But for marketing purposes, the sedan has been called the i30N. Um, I originally did want the hatch, but what sold the sedan to me was the interior. It was just, I uh, felt a bit more luxury. And also it was a bit bigger, much bigger boot space, you know, with kids and stuff like that. Um, plus my wife said I need to get a bigger car, not a small one. So she wins. Uh, this one is getting Expel tint, which has already been done. So we put some clear tint on the back windows because it has privacy glass. And then we put some matching tint, some 20, I think that's 20% on the front to give you that nice consistent look. G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra um, ceramic coating as usual. And full front Expel paint protection film, which has yet to be done. Uh, super busy week, We're, we are running behind, but uh, that's what happens. Um, and now, speaking of hot hatches, we have perhaps the ultimate hot hatch, or now the Audi, the Audi RS3 perhaps is the ultimate hot hatch. But the RS3 also comes in a sedan version. And I feel the RS3 pricing is now out of the realms of a hot hatch. A hot hatch is meant to be affordable. But anyway, this is one of the probably, you know, the, the best hot hatches. Golf R. For some reason, guys, every single Golf R we've done, Mark 8, has been black. 
I think we've done four of them now. They've all been black. I'm not sure what's going on, why they're black, but guys, come on, buy some other colors. Um, you know, the uh, the Mark 7s, I think white was the most common color, and it was just that whole Stormtrooper look, which was fired off with the Mark 6 with the black wheels and the white paint. But um, yeah, this one is just coming in for some Expel tint and some G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. Um, just been dropped off, it's still dirty. So we'll get that one sorted and it'll be gleaming once we're done with it. If we swing around, we've got my M3. Now, if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, whatever, you would have seen, seen what's been going on with this car. Basically, we started to detail it. We started polishing it. We had a quiet week a few weeks ago and I was like, you know what, let's do some work on this car and get it ready. And it's turned, it's, it's a detail that's gone uh, out of hand. Um, what was meant to be a polish and then a PPF has turned into basically stripping the whole car down, the interior as well, and like fixing everything up and just making it epic. Um, and I was like, well, we may as well, because what actually happened was um, these rubbers needed to be replaced. And in order to re remove these rubbers, you have to remove the rear window. In order to remove the rear window, you have to remove the interior bits and pieces. So one thing led to another, and now you can see the whole car's in pieces around you. Um, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, we've PPF a few panels already. Um, and uh, also the plan was, I was supposed to go to a track day at Eastern Creek last week. And the plan was to get the car ready for that. That did not happen, the car was not ready, but luckily I was able to uh, pull out and uh, get a spot for next month instead. So hopefully the car will be ready for then. But uh, for, for more on this guys, um, uh, follow us on Instagram and just keep an update on there. Oh, the interesting thing that happened guys, actually with this car, was once we had polished the roof and then we PPF'd it, I looked at it from the back and I saw all these tiny dents, which I had never seen before. Now, this car has been sitting inside for, for as long as I can remember. So I'm not sure when these, what looked like the hail damage happened, could have happened in the, with the previous owner or whatever. But I think because the roof uh, now is so perfectly polished and the PPF made it look so perfect with minimized orange peel, that's now why that the, um, uh, the, the dents were visible. So then uh, I had one of the guys from Dent Brothers come out and he's a, absolute genius he pulled out all the dents and it's just amazing so it's perfectly smooth and flat now so this car is going to be like it's going to be awesome super 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 excited with this and i'm going to be able to drive it and enjoy the car like i should uh it's mel yo so we've got a we've got a party going on here oh pete's here so guys um pete does he want to be on camera i can do you want to be on camera so we got we got pete here friday afternoon hangs pete works for avery dennison you may have heard of them um so uh, what do you do for Avery? Uh, technical manager for Australia and New Zealand um, and primarily the role is value added services to the business. So we will do a lot of product training, so making our products easier to use uh, and then heavily involved in the RMD, so development of, of products, which is why I'm here today. Because yes. Uh, you and I are working on a secret project and, uh, and yeah. also testing some of our PPF uh, films. Which yeah. Just, you know, we're always happy to help people. Yeah. I know we primarily use Expel films, but we're not married to any particular brand. Mm -hmm. We use Avery Vinyl as well so when they told us that they've got a new ppf and whether we'd be willing to help help out test it of course you know plus you know just get to play with film and software and uh, pete is kind enough to bring us baked goods on a regular basis well today where are those, those sri lankan love cakes still at the shop oh geez all right so, so sorry I didn't, yeah I didn't yeah <laughs> yeah yeah next time mate i expect i expect uh cakes um you can follow pete on what's your instagram the rap trainer the rap film yeah, at, something at, at the rap trainer at the rap trainer yep. uh rap with a w not with an r he's a, a rapper as in film not rapper as in musician that was an awful joke, but we'll leave that in there anyway. That was a terrible, terrible <laughs> joke. <laughs> it is Friday afternoon. I, it's, it's been a long week, we're super busy. Uh, we've got a gentleman just pulled up here behind us in his Model Y for a chat. I'll be with you very shortly. Um, you. Moving on, Ismail. Oh, how are you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, good, microphone. So, we have this Mercedes E 43 AMG. It's not a C, it is an E. Relatively rare. You, you never see E-Classes anymore. I remember back in the day, the Mercedes E-Class was it. And then somehow the C-Class became more popular. I suppose because the C-Class became a lot bigger and then the E was became a bit more of a granddad car. This certainly is no longer a granddad car. Full Expel Stealth PPF, looking gangster as hell. We had the calipers painted. Actually, we had this car on the last vlog, I remember, and it had not been done yet, it had just been dropped off. Um, but now the car's pretty much done. Calipers painted, wheels have been polished up and coated with Ultra. Uh, what else, windows, oh, the front windows still need to be tinted. 
We did the mirrors and the door handles in gloss black. So we got rid of the chrome. So, you know, further minimize that granddad look because who wants chrome? We also have a whole bunch of new badges, which I don't know where they are, but gloss black badges. We've uh, detailed the interior. Uh, check out Instagram. I posted a 50-50 shot of the leather on the driver's seat so you can really see the difference that it's made. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking sick. I think I might throw on some tinted PPF from the headlights just because I'm a nice guy and I want to see what it looks like. And if the owner likes it, awesome. If he doesn't, he can take it off, but I want to see what it looks like. So we're going to do it. And we're definitely going to put some tinted PPF on the rear lights because it's going to look awesome. And I know the owner will like it. Ismail, how you yeah, been? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. So guys, never ever go on a car. You know, you see people on cars, car videos and stuff. You can see a bonnet, look, it's like sitting on it. Don't do that. It's disrespectful and you're gonna scratch the car. This car's got PPF on there, so you can sit on it, you're not gonna scratch it. But still, don't do it. It's, dis it's disrespectful to the car. Anyway, Ismail, over to you. Tell me what's been happening. Very busy week. We have done like two cars full PPF, like one Tesla Model 3 and this one like E43 AMG, which is stealth conversion. Before, it was like gloss black. So we have put applied the Expel PPF for the matte finish and came out really good. And still have to do some few bits like headlights and you need to put things back like roof rails, you need to put it back. So we'll be ready by Sunday. So, and that's it. Oh, and the other, oh, the final touch we need to do as well, parking yeah. sensors. So uh, the parking oh, yeah. sensors are still gloss. So we just cut out little circles and stick them on there to make them matte. So we did touch up most of the chips as best as we could without going overboard, you're sanding them back a little bit and just smoothing things out to make them less obvious. And I'm, I'm really glad actually that the owner was such a reasonable and cool dude because the car looks so sick. Like I, I, I personally could not have imagined, like I wasn't imagining it to look as good as this. Uh, once it's fully done, we will take some photos and chuck them on Instagram and Facebook and stuff to so check it out. Um, might even get Kumi back to do like a, a, a video walk around or something, you know, when the weather's good. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Uh, Ismail, so what else is, what else has been happening? What else is news? Uh, news is nothing else. So you need to do another car next week. This is like... Yeah, uh, it's a busy week. Busy, busy couple busy. of weeks coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. It is Tesla season. And I think a lot of, I think, you know, with all the, the virus that shall remain nameless and all that other jazz, um, you know, supply chain issues and whatnot, I think a lot of those things are being rectified now. So cars are, are arriving so it's good you know um where's kelvin have we spoken to kelvin yet you know what let's cut now to kelvin's tip of the week um we're going to get him to tint some windows and show us hi guys kelvin over here today teaching you guys how to tint a window all right let's starting over here we have a golf um, a new Golf needs to be tinned the two front window with uh, XPEL 20% XR Plus. So here I am and teach you how teach you guys how to install a window tin. All right. So we can see here. So the tin is has been plot out with the size will fit the window as well. So now we start how to tin the window. Right. So the first step. We will take off the um, rubber on the door trim because it's way more easy and have some gap to, to put your tin on. So what I will do, I already take off the rubber. So anyway, I will start with washing the glass to make sure no dust. I mean, sometimes you will get some dust. Just make it less as much as you can. So get the glass wet, wet and nice. So I will get a mitt to scrub, make sure you won't scratch the glass with blade. So try to scrub as much as you can. Every single edge, the top, the bottom. Yep. All right. Roll down the window a bit. Get the cloth. Wipe the top. Clean it. Spray the soapy water again. Make sure it's wet. Bring the dust off. Yep. And we start squeegeeing. 
Usually I will get my squeezy and a cloth with my hand. So when I squeeze it once, I will wipe it dry to make sure nothing stick on top. So, and then I will get some sharp tools, go into the edge to make sure bring all the dust come on, come off on the edge. So the next step, we will spray the edges, the side, the bottom, make sure it's wet and the glass as well. Make sure it's wet. Yep. And we start the tin. We get we grab the tin and spray a little bit soapy water on the tin to make sure not that much static bring in the dust. Right. And spray some soapy water on the tin. and try to gently put it on. Slide it in, nice and smooth. Make sure it's just on, the tin is on the glass, never stick on, on the trim and the rubber because they will bring a lot of dust and give you a lot of surprise when you're done. Right. Yep. And try to tuck it in as much as you can. and line up on the top. Okay, and check the edges. Is it good? Yep, perfect. All right, the next step, spray more soapy water. Make sure it's easy to squeeze and the tin won't roll around. Yep. And get some sharp tool, go into the edge to squeeze all the bubbles and water out. All right, so the next step, we will go to the bottom. Go. So, yep. And then try to push it out all the fingers as much as you can. Okay. And then last step, again, same step, spray some soapy water and roll the window down, squeezy hard. Push the most water out as much as you can. And then get a heat gun. Make sure don't go too close. Get down the finger, make sure it's nice and neat. And the side as well. And then, all done. Wipe it dry, nice and neat. <laughs> That's it. Um, Kelvin, you wanna come for a chat? We've done your tip of the week. Yeah, but how you been? Let's have a let's have a let's have a talk. Kelvin, how you been, man? Hi guys. What's been happening? Um, not much. Busy week. Just passed my birthday as well. Oh yeah. How yeah. old are you? Thirty. Yeah, the big three zero. Yeah. It doesn't look it. Got those, got those good Asian genes, you know, keeping them young, forever young. Yeah, uh, and yeah. short. Have a long hair. You're not like short. You're, saying, well, you're not that much shorter than me, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What else? What else? Looking forward and then waiting for the for the October track day in Sydney. Oh yeah, that yeah. Ludenham, Ludenham. Yeah, Ludenham. Yeah, I need to go to that as well, but I don't, I've got four cars and one of them works right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that car happens to be the one that my wife drives and that has the baby seats in there. So it's been a bit annoying because my Hyundai currently is at the dealer, still waiting. It's been there for like, Four weeks now, yeah. yeah Out of parts, a, yeah, it's parts. ABS wheel sensor, and then the, there was a bushing. The sensor went because we were a flat tire. I think the the tire ripped the cable or something. Mm -hmm. Whatever it happens, I tried to jerry rig it, but there's a t but the wires are so fine, you just couldn't you couldn't solder them. They, were, they just broke. Yeah. So yeah, you know, like I said, four cars, one of them works. 
Um, that's car life, you know? That's, there's, a, there's a meme about that, as I've seen. It's like, you're not a true car guy unless you've got at least like a number of cars in which none of them work, you know? That's yeah. the people just buy cars. Speaking of buying cars, you've been buying a lot of cars recently. Uh, yeah, like last two months. Yeah. Yeah, I buy another two more cars. Yeah, um, yeah. you got the, got the Camry. You sold yeah. the Camry or you sold it? No, it's still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's taking it to a granddad. Um, buying Camrys, but it's, it's actually a really good and comfortable car. Yeah. We've been using it to drive to the city for lunch. I'm like, oh, this is really nice. It's yeah. got the, those plush kind of like that, you know, that furry fabric. What's it called? Uh, Velour. Yeah, like that real plush, clever seats and stuff. And it's just, it's awesome. But um, I think your plan with that one is to fix it up, make it awesome, and just you know, yeah, keep it for a bit. Yeah, keep it for a bit because it's very low K on yeah. the car. So. I want to flip it, but no one can pay for the price. Yeah, You're yeah. Not asking for negotiation, shit, so yeah. crazy, nah. Sweet so, as. Yeah. Uh, what else, man? Anything else you want to say? Uh, nah. We are busy. Looks good. Looking yeah, it's forward. good. You know, shop's messy as always. I clean it up. It gets messy again. It's a busy workshop, guys. If anyone's got organizational, organizational tips, or even a cleaner, you know. Like, actually, now nah, you know what we'll do it ourselves. I, 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 I think if you hire a cleaner when they walk in and then it, they will reject straight away. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, sorry, man. Even someone just to come in and clean the kitchens and do the rubbish, we do that ourselves. But now nah, I think um, we need to make a time, three day period, book no cars and just fully redo the shop. That yeah. needs to happen. We, or, we, we can redo it any time, but the problem is how long you can stay for. Yeah, yeah. And plus yeah. the busyness. Like right now it's Friday afternoon. In an ideal world, Friday morning you come in, any cars get picked up and done and then you spend two hours cleaning on a Friday, and then Friday afternoon after lunch, you do nothing, you just chill. But you can see it's full shop, and it's yeah. Friday afternoon. Well, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, and so I think you're gonna be in on Sunday, yeah. maybe tomorrow. And I've gotta, I've gotta get my BMW done, because I wanna drive it, and I wanna clean that area up, like it just got out of control. <laughs> uh, Cheng. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new member. So, uh, everyone, um, you remember, you remember Cheng from our last vlog? That was our, his first one. So it's been a few weeks mm -hmm. uh, and you've been working here. How are you enjoying it? Just hold the mic a bit closer up. Oh yeah, cool. Oh, I feel very good uh, because Sal gave us a lot of time to work on customers' car. So I can do the car better. And uh, for example, for this car. Uh, what is this? Uh, McLaren. 540C, yeah. I don't know how the, what the difference between a McLaren 540 and 570 is. I'm guessing the 570 is more powerful, probably 570 horsepower. I can't tell. Like, don't you think that all McLarens look the same, even more so than Porsches? <laughs> like, short of like a Senna, they all pretty much look the same. Anyway, Cheng, sorry, go on. Oh, yeah. For example, uh, if in other shops, we, uh, they work, uh, work on this car, maybe it's just clean the uh, surfaces out on it. But because that gave us, uh, give us a lot of time, so I can clean the edges in it. Uh, we are going to do the wrapping on this car. So if there's some uh, debris in the, for example, the edges, maybe it's hard to stick the um, wrapping. Yeah. So maybe we'll get the work doing um, not very good. So yeah. So this one is getting a uh, color change wrap um, yeah. in a really funky color. Um, we'll leave that for when it's done. So check out our socials for the reveal. Um, maybe we'll get Kumi in again to do a quick walk around when it's, uh, when it's all done. But it's, uh, uh, and it's getting some window tint as well. <laughs> and um, Cheng, what else? I mean, you've been doing a bit of PPF as well? Oh yeah, I like, yeah, learning. I like do the PPF. Yeah, 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 so obviously PPF in store and training. Yeah. Um, and uh, has Kelvin been teaching a bit of window tinting as well? Oh yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite? I mean, if it, out of all the things that you do, mm -hmm. so you got, you know, the actual paint correction, Yep. Window tinting and yep. PPFing. What's your favorite thing? If you could choose one thing, what would you say you want to do? Uh, that's a hard question for <laughs> me in here yeah. now because uh, the most thing I do now is polish the cars. Uh, polish the cars, there's a lot of techniques I need to uh, learn and to grow. Mm, I mean, make my skills better. Uh, after that, because this is a basic skills, uh, when we, I mean, this is a basic process that we do a lot of things on car, for, uh, such as the PPF and the wrapping and uh, coating. Hmm. Mm, I think when I got the time to do all the, such as uh, tint and yeah. uh, PPF, wrapping and uh, the coating, when I got a lot of time to uh, do all of these kind of jobs, 
maybe I'll know which is the favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, you, you to get good at all of them. You know, yeah. it's um, things. They're all they're all good and all satisfying in their own ways. Yeah. yeah I'm glad you know you've been you've been learning a bit of PPF and stuff because yeah. that's that's the thing that we need more of. You know, yeah. um, like when Kelvin first came as well, yeah. um, he didn't really know how to do PPF and mm -hmm. he learned very quickly because the tinting background, his yeah. smell, already knew how to do PPF. But we've his his skills have really gotten a lot better in the last yeah. couple yeah. of months as well. And uh, you know, hopefully you'll be there soon as well. Um, anything else you want to say? Uh, to our audience, you know, all, uh, yeah. all five of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd like it to do, uh, we want to do the perfect job, but uh, as we all know, there's no perfect things. But in this job, we have a lot of time because uh, thanks to that, because he gave us a lot of time. Uh, so we will try our best to, to do uh, the jobs on cars and try our best to make it look uh, similar to perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do our best. Look, there's, not, there's nothing perfect, but you know, we, we, we try our best to get it perfect. Oh, Anyone yeah. who says, says to you they do a perfect job, they're lying or they don't know what the word perfect actually means. Um, yeah. I think on that note, that's a good way to end it there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions or, or uh, something you'd like us to cover, please comment or email us, whatever, and let me know, and I will try and do that for you on our next video. Uh, till then, have a good one, and uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers.